Just like most PvP games, Sea of Thieves has a reputation for being a bit toxic. But is that actually true? Is everyone you meet going to try and attack you on site whilst calling you names? Well, that's what I want to find out today with a little experiment. I'm going to go undercover on a brand new ship with no cosmetics and see if I can find other pirates willing to give me a hand. And if they do, they will be handsomely rewarded with a massive stack of loot. I mean, it is Christmas after all. I'm going to load up a sea fort with a bunch of treasure, take the key and bury it on a neighboring island. If I can find somebody who is willing to help a quote-unquote new player find the dick spot and show them where the key goes, they will get to keep everything that's in the vault. But before any such experiment could be conducted, I need a treasure to give away in the first place. I figured I'd start with a Legend of the Veil vale Voyage, seeing as how that is an endgame quest that gives you pretty good loot. By now, I have knocked out enough of these to be able to do them in my sleep, just that the game immediately made an attempt to wake me up. Oh, it's a brigantine. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not how I expected my day to start. I'll let them shoot first. And here I thought we could be peaceful. Okay, dude. So much for me trying to prove that Sea of Thieves is not all about being attacked on sight. Granted, there's a reason this game is not called Sea of Friends, but I can definitely see why a new player will be frustrated about immediately getting run up on by a three-man vessel. Unfortunately for these fellas, I was merely cosplaying as a new player and as such, ready to give them a fight. Their assortment of Ashen cosmetics as well as their lack of sail management made it very obvious that they were the ones who were inexperienced, meaning that tabling the turn on them was not all that difficult. The good thing was that at least none of them were getting toxic about it. Their open mic communication was just your standard assortment of regular play-by-play -play comps, only interrupted by an intermittent Dorito break. Though it was kind of ironic that of all the pieces of treasure they could have on their boat, the only one I could find was a humble gift. Merry Christmas, everybody. I really wish I could tell you that this was my only run-in with other players in the preparation stages of my social experiment, but as I went about completing my voyage, another ship came right towards me. I immediately shot a firework into the sky, which is an internationally accepted sign-off, I am not here to fight you. And granted, they also had a sort of firework to show me, just not the kind that I was hoping for. That kegs on board? Guess I wasn't the only one trying to surprise other pirates. This experiment was proving more difficult than anticipated. Not only was the acquisition of a loot stack a lot more troublesome than I thought, but none of the pirates I came across so far had any interest in as much as exchanging a few words with me. The good thing was that I had all day to get this done, so after depositing the first batch of loot at a nearby sea fortress, I went to grab a Skull of Destiny Voyage to activate the Fort of the Damned, yet another endgame piece of content. Everyone I met so far were very inexperienced players, so I actually had a lot of faith in being able to get this done without fear of sinking. And I mean, who wouldn't be happy to get a chest of fortune for Christmas? Now it is worth mentioning that there was a galleon on the server that I had not had the pleasure of meeting yet. Even though the fort was active and they'd have every reason to come and mess me up, they just sailed right past me. Which was just as well because I had skeletons to slaughter and no time to deal with them. Problem being, not everybody was that generous. Oh, that's annoying. Let me show you a pro gamer move. Ow. Okay, barely afloat. I had finally found my match. This vessel was not going to be easily disposed of, and if they knew what they were doing, running away would also not be an option, considering that the Brigantine is still the fastest ship in the game. Whilst trying to come up with a plan, I noticed a fiery animation in front of their ship, indicating that they were currently queued for Hourglass PvP. So my best chance to survive was to stall for time until their queue popped, at which point they would have to fight the invading Guardian of Fortune instead of chasing me. Which was easier said than done. I was not entirely sure that I could stay afloat for that long. But wait. There was that galleon from earlier. They were currently clearing a skelly fleet, and who knows, maybe they'd sympathize with a lonely sloop currently getting chased by a brigantine. As I passed by them, I wrote a desperate plea for help, not using my microphone to make sure that they don't recognize my voice. Let's see, are they gonna help or not? Oh, they're firing! They're firing, all right! Yeah, F you, bud! <laughs> That's what you get! The mighty galleon came to my rescue after all. They saw an opportunity to help a new player out and did not hesitate to act accordingly. In a fantastic bit of karma, the brigand team would now get merged off the server upon sinking because such are the rules of Hourglass PvP. Now, of course, I was eager to show them my appreciation by leading them to my treasurer, but in a twist that surprised even me, instead of taking payment, they decided to adopt me. Thinking I was a new player that could use a hand, they told me to go back to my fort where they would make sure that I can finish it in peace. One of them even had a golden phantom curse, which you can only get by reaching level 1000 in the PvP faction, Guardians of Fortune. All of this would have lined up so perfectly for a happy ending, wasn't it for the fact that we got visited by a hacker. 
What the? Yep, we had one of these absolute nutcases that fly around the map dropping kegs on other boats out of nowhere, which unfortunately had put a premature end to my plans. I took my costume off, helped them fend off the hacker a couple times, took a screenshot together, and then decided to go our separate ways on a new server. In the first place, I never got around to actually doing the whole ordeal. Helping somebody sink a ship that is already coming towards you might as well be classified as self-defense. And I wanted to show that there are people who play this game that are willing to go the extra mile, so I won't rest easy until I've proven that Sea of Thieves is in fact not toxic. It was time to go again, and I think you know the process by now. Complete that Legend of the Veil, hide the treasure in the seafood, and grab another Skull of Destiny because I had not given up on adding a chest of fortune to my stack yet. Which made it ever the more unfortunate that I was not the only one trying to activate the Fort of the Damned. I didn't know it at the time, but this Reaper Emissary was destined to become a massive thorn in my side. At first I thought if I waited long enough, maybe they would dive for Hourglass PvP or just be done with their voyage at some point. But I couldn't get too comfortable because don't forget that treasure despawns on islands when left untouched for more than two hours. So so every 90 minutes I had to go back to my C4 to engage in such touching of loot. And what had to happen did eventually happen. The Reapers decided to activate the Fort of the Damned. Just great. If I went to sink them right now, not only would I make an enemy on the server, but I'd also immediately blow my cover. I didn't want anyone to suspect me of being anything other than a new player, so I decided to kill some time by taking my treasure and bringing it to another C4 at a slightly more desolate location. Which is when an epiphany struck me. What if these Reapers were actually nice people? I mean, let's face it, ever since the introduced the new PvP faction, Servants of the Flame, more and more pirates have been using the Reaper Emissary purely to make gold by completing PvE events. So I figured I might as well shoot my shot. I sailed two squares away from the sea floor to get it to respawn, cleared it one more time to get the key, and this time, instead of opening the vault, took it with me to hide it on a neighboring island. Thieves Haven was the perfect location because any obnoxiously massive piece of land would make it less likely that somebody wants to take time out of their day to help me find the dig spot, truly proving their good spirit. With a plan finally prepared, it was time to approach the Reapers. I tried to sell them on a story that some random pirate gave me the map, but I couldn't find the dig spot because the island was too big. And well, let's just say that the barrier to help might have been a bit too steep. He doesn't seem convinced. He's pondering his options. Okay. Damn it. It was never gonna be that easy, chat. It was never gonna be that easy. Frustrating as that was, I did want to make sure that the treasure went to the right person. And if these guys can't even take 10 minutes out of their day to help a new player out, they definitely did not deserve it. They just continued completing their photo of the damned whilst I went about killing some time in between rounds of juggling my loot to make sure it doesn't despawn. I will lie, I said that I was not questioning the experiment I was trying to conduct several hours into attempt number two with nobody but that reaper in sight. But eventually, that reaper too disappeared. Hey, what happened to the reaper? Should probably go take a look, huh? Is there actually nobody here right now? There's a Skull of Destiny. There are kegs. Oh my... Okay. Literally what the hell has transpired here? That was a question that I did not have an answer for, but what I did have was a chest of fortune. This will be the crown jewel of my loot stack, and it being the most sought after chest in the entire game, even if the rest of the treasure doesn't impress, anyone, including a veteran, would be happy to get their hands on this thing specifically. All I needed now was an unsuspecting victim to bestow it upon, which is actually the thing that turned out to be the biggest challenge, because for hours I have not been able to spot a single vessel besides that reaper. And every time I did find somebody at an outpost, their ship had scuttled by the time I got over there. At this stage, I was eight hours deep into this experiment, dying to even get a chance to prove my point. I mean, hey, if I find somebody and they do end up being toxic, I will eat my words. But not finding anyone at all was really getting to me. How are there so many skelly galleons, but no, like, player ships? What is happening, man? Yet again, another question I could not answer. Though I would be longing for that being the biggest of my problems because suddenly, I found another Reaper 5 getting suspiciously close to my vault. Of course, I immediately assumed the worst. If they had found the treasure, I'd have no choice but to fight them in order to get it back. But little did I know that I was not the only one who had set his sights on that vessel because beyond the Reaper sloop approached a brigantine. And to make matters worse, they were using arena sails. It was obvious they were not interested in attacking my naked vessel when a Reaper 5 was right next to me. The best thing I could do was make sure that they don't consider me a threat. Of course I was expecting to be the next in line once they had dealt with these guys. I mean the now retired arena game mode was literally the go-to PvP mode for COTs before they introduced the hourglass system. If that is the cosmetic they choose to rep then I'm certain that their goal is gonna be very obvious. Alas, the only thing I could do was give it my best shot and surprisingly they didn't only have microphones, they were also willing to hear me out. Well, actually I know where it is. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Nice, 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 finally. <laughs> 
What a nice guy. We finally had a worthy candidate. Despite their outwardly aggressive appearance, this guy literally didn't even hesitate to give me a helping hand. We even had some small talk on our way to the safe and I was entirely certain he had no idea I was not a new player because he genuinely started explaining a whole bunch of things to me, assuming I've never played this game. But how would he react to him digging up a fortress key? So if your map is correct, it has to be somewhere there where I stand. That's it. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, that's a key to the uh, the ghost fort. I'll pick you up and show you where to visit. What a nice guy. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> he thought I just got trolled by somebody. I really appreciated his empathy, as well as his willingness to spend the time to show me around and explain to me how these things work. It was obvious that he's a rather experienced player, so I was really curious to find out how he would react to that massive stack of loot inside the vault. Funnily enough, he insisted I should be the one to use the key, and when I did, immediately walked away, causing me to just kind of awkwardly stand in the doorway waiting for him to take a gander. But when he did... Oh my... Oh, oh dude, you, you got... Yeah, it kind of sucks that the audio inside the vault is currently broken. I tried my best to fix that in post, but it definitely hampered the effect of the reaction a little bit. What's funny was that his first response was saying that I am the one who got lucky. Even after seeing all this treasure, he had no intention of trying to take it away from me. And even when I revealed my little experiment, he still asked me if it was okay for him to take it instead of me selling it myself. Truly, I don't think I could have found somebody more deserving of this little bit of Christmas cheer. And this is what I'd like to direct at you guys as well. A quest, if you will. I'd love for us to be the change we want to see in the world, so whether it be in-game or out of game, try and make it a point to do something nice for somebody else. But this is it for me here today. If this video was a bit too wholesome for you, then what about you check out my last episode in which we explore the Skull of Siren song. Name of the game is still Sea of Thieves, and I'm sure that one's gonna scratch that thieving itch. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys have a day filled with riches on the sea, and until next time, peace.